It seems Malaysian school students seldom get out of the classroom during school hours. But for this group of Grade 7 students at the International School of Kuala Lumpur, today's science class made its way out of the confines of the science laboratory. With not a lab coat in sight, these students dressed to get down and dirty with nature, ready to submerge themselves in the Umpung River. Monash University Environmental Science Honours student Chris Van Terra, along with his supervisor Dr Cathy Yule, are hosting the class as part of Chris's thesis on community-based monitoring. Um, but most of all, it's just a day out for them to get out of the classroom, to get their hands dirty, because um, that's the best way you learn things. Learning ecology and stuff through textbooks and in the classrooms, you don't really remember things. It's when you're outside and you actually can see the things and touch them, that's when you learn. The students are collecting physical, chemical and biological data from a pristine river site in Taman Tun Abdul Razak, along with a polluted site which runs through the Club Darul Esan Golf Course. The students will compare the results to see if any pollution has made an impact on the environment. We were looking at the water and how it changes from like a mountain and coming down here where um, like all of it from the mountain comes and then there's cement in the ground. So Imran, what kind of things have you found in the river so far? Water boatmen, shrimps, uh, I think it's aphid, like around here, of course a lot of stuff. For some of the local and international students in this group, this is the very first time they've ever gotten this close to nature. This program is allowing students to get hands on with nature and analyse the natural ecosystems in the Umpung River. Yeah, I, I've never done anything like this before, so it's it's new, but it's quite fun. We're hoping this project will be s sort of like a pilot project so other schools can see what we're doing and see our data and see how much impact it has on the students' learning. And then hopefully what I'd like to do is get other schools, local schools, other international schools involved in doing similar types of field experiences, combining the science and the community service aspects so that they can protect these streams. But especially in Malaysia, a lot of the streams need some help. They're, they're polluted in different ways and monitoring the data with the students and getting citizens involved is the way to go. This project will not only be of benefit to the students' science classes, but will also complement other areas in their curriculum. Today's data will be uploaded and graphed in maths classes and the students will also create an online blog to track their results and experiences in the study. Chris Fontera hopes the data will be published at the completion of his thesis. Ellen Feely, The Star, Malaysia.